Uh, well, the first thing is when I started bird watching with my friends, we did not have binoculars. We started, we will start making sketches of birds that we saw, uh, in the hope of that we could use those to identify birds. For example, a hawk that we will see flying. This is a journal of mine from uh, 1994. So this is a hawk that I observed. So we will do a very schematic drawing and then we'll go to the library because we didn't have uh, field guides either. So we went to the library and tried to compare these two silhouettes that other authors had uh, drawn. With time, a lot of these uh, drawings became more schematic. These are notes from, uh, just recent notes from 1999. And I have to say one thing here. I have an awful memory. I can't remember uh, two close rela related species that have one minor feature to tell them apart. So I just made a drawing and make uh, some notes on what I observed. And then I will go back and use the field guides there and use them to go back home and compare them to the field guides. I take abundant behavior notes and habitats and where I observe birds. Uh, for example, I have this scheme here where I have uh, uh, the side of the forest here, then second growth vegetation, and then young second growth vegetation, and then a corn plantation. So by making detailed notes about where I found the bird, I could go back to the books and say like, well, this is a second growth vegetation associated with lowlands or something, and I could use these notes also to tell a species uh, from notes in the field. So, there are some interesting notes also. So, uh, some of them are useless, but uh, good for learning, but not use, of no use for science, but some of them are interesting. For example, these notes are from 1987. This is a drawing of the chest of two Aplomado falcons a juvenile female and an adult female. And at the time, the plumages of the two in books were differentiated but because if, uh, the juvenile female had heavy streaking on the breast and the adult female was supposed to not have. But I knew that this bird was an adult because I had a bandit and it had uh, streaks in the chest. So this was a note that I made on those days and later uh, other people figured this out and put it in the book. So I was thinking that a lot of these drawings before, besides being of importance to learn just for my own personal use, could also contribute something to a little piece of information to uh, learn to identify a bird. So I keep taking them. <laughs> the species.